Hi guys, my name is Nini Neen and today I'm going to be teaching you how to pose your model just like this. This is useful for several reasons. One of which is if you don't have a VRM format, like me, I have the VSF format, I can't import my model into all these posing softwares or other softwares like 310 and Wadaio, I believe. Yeah, if you wanna be able to keep your model in this pose while streaming and talking, then this is the video for you. This is also super useful for another reason, which is taking pictures. I love taking pictures so much. So having the ability to pose your model like this is super fun. So stay tuned, it's really super easy. You just need to install Unity and have the sample project file and you're good to go. All right, let's do this. All right, so let's get started. Getting this to work is very simple. Don't feel like me, not reading the instructions. Just download Unity Hub. Unity Hub is a software which allows you to install a specific version of Unity. So think of it as a software to launch a software. You select your Unity version, so you can visit the download arc archive and then you start your project. It's as simple as that. So uh, after you finish downloading this, it will look like this. So you'll have a little uh, box here that shows up like this. And under the installs, you see the different versions of Unity that you have installed. So just simply select the version that is stated on the VC Face website, again, 2019.4.16F1. If it's missing from here, you wanna be able to download a specific version. You can do that by visiting the download archive here, click this link, and then go to 2019, clicky, right? And then you wanna scroll down to the version, which is 4.16, so scroll all the way down, and then you can see Unity 4.16. You click on this green button. When you click on it, it will open your Unity Hub over here. And I've, as you can see, I've already installed it. So there you go, I'm good to go. The next step will be to open the file provided by Emiliana. So the next thing that you wanna do is download the project file. Head on over to VC Face, scroll down to uh, Preview preview in Unity, this one. And it will scroll you to model preview in Unity. You can read all about it, right? But the most important thing is you wanna load this example project in Unity 2019 4.16 F1. I cannot stress how important it is you download this specific version. Don't go putting in the comments that it's not working. Well, check your Unity version first, because if you haven't, then this won't work for you, okay? All right. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna download the scene here, click the source code, download it, and then open that up in your Unity Hub. Open up the folder that you just extracted in Unity Hub. So you click on open, select the folder. Uh, and as you can see, I have VC Face Preview. Uh, you double click it and it should open up Unity for you. It might take a little while the first time you load it up, don't panic, it needs to import a lot of stuff. Now. When you first start up the project, you might not see the model in the scene. Don't panic. Here, you should have something that looks like this at the bottom. A bunch of folders and in one of them should be named scenes. If you click on that, you double click, double click on it, right? And then it should open up, right? All right. And if you do that, you should be able to see the Vita model right in front of you you want to do is you want to go here to the left side and make sure that you click on this scene setup pose sender it's a bit tiny i'll try zooming in for you pose sender here you go pose sender so you click on that um and then if you double click on that oops might zoom in a little bit you'll see here on the right side a little port and address settings so you copy this port number and make sure that Inside VC Face, you have the same number. So here in VC Face, you go to settings, go to general settings, and then make sure that you have this OSC VMC receiver enabled. Make sure that the port matches up and select whichever you want VC Face to override. So if I disable all my VC Face stacking, my head won't move at all. But you want to I want to be able to move my head and my mouth and 
everything else. So I just track the expressions and track face features. And the only thing that I want to be controlled by Unity are the hands, the shoulders, spine and chest, and the lower body. So make sure that matches up to your Unity here port. Make sure that matches up over there. All right. So if done correctly, you wanna be able to hit the play button. Once you hit the play button, you'll see a bunch of instructions. And if done correctly, Vita will be posed like this for you. So there are some instructions up here. So to send poses to VC face, move Vita, add your own VRM to the scene, play the scene, switch over to scene and pose the avatar bones, right? Just like I explained earlier, but I don't have a VRM export. I have a VC face export, but that's okay because my 3D mama has used the sample scene as a base for my model. Um, so make sure I head on over to scene. Now, if done correctly, and I really hope this works, you <laughs> go click on this body here and you click on the roots and then you go keep, keep selecting these drop downs over here to be able to select specific parts of the body. So here you go. As you can see, I can select the spine and I click by default, you should have this enabled like this, but you can also click on E to rotate the spine. So now if done correctly, you should be able to move your model and I'll move these side by side. And so now if I move this model here on the left, it should move my model on the right, so this is super fun because now I can pose my model in any which way I want. So I can move my legs upwards like this, see? And I can still maintain the pose. Um, if you have hand tracking, you can also enable that, keep the hand tracking enabled. And, but this is super fun now. You can have like different poses while streaming. So now I'm talking and I can be streaming in this awkward pose over here. But there you go, that is how you can get your pose. Um, and I'll speed this part up in the video so that you can see how, uh, how much, uh, what I do. Okay, so. All right, and that is how you pose your 3D model with Unity. As you can see, uh, it's actually very easy to do and I didn't need to know any 3D modeling skills at all in order to get this pose. If this helped you at all, make sure you share it with a friend and tell them how to do this. It's super fun and super easy. And now you can, you can get a bunch of cool screenshots even if you don't have full body tracking and spice up your streams a little bit more. I hope you had a good time. If you liked the video, like it and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.